man. Don't you just hate it when you wake up in the morning to find out that your MacBook had just installed the latest Mac OS and now your laptop is slower, wonkier, clunkier, buggy, glitchy, broken, if you will. Let's say it's 7 to 10 years old, 4 to 7 years old, or brand new, but somehow there's a glitch or a bug in the latest Mac OS update. Well, here's how to turn off automatic install. Right here. You're going to go up here to this Apple symbol in the top left corner. You click on it. Then you're going to go down to System Settings, click on that. Right here on the front page, you're going to see Software Update, click on that. And then you're going to see something like Security Responses, click on that little eye symbol. This option will pop up, it will say Automatically, and every time when I get a new MacBook, I turn this off. So Automatically Install MacBook Updates, off. Automatically Install Application Updates from App Store, off. For me personally, I don't like having my apps automatically update just because sometimes I lose progress or sometimes there's glitches that hasn't been worked out yet. When you get a new back when you get a new MacBook or even if you have a mid-age MacBook, by mid-age I say 2 to 3 years or 3 to 4 years because sometime around year 7 to 10 they start getting wonky uh, if you're not taking good care of it. So, sometimes you this might be on for you guys or for that one specific person, but if you turn it off, that way you don't wake up in the morning to find out that your MacBook is now slower and overloaded because it installed Mac updates and maxed out your data or something like that, or maybe an app broke that you were using because uh, your OS and your app was not compatible or something like that. Or maybe there were bugs in both and one of them downloaded and now you have issues. I still keep the install security responses and system files on, so that way the security uh, pa you know, holes get patched, the, the bugs get squashed, etc. I have download new updates when available, but I don't have it installed. Sometimes it can download the update and keep it here, like I want to show you. See? The update. Uh, Mac OS Sequoia 15.3 15, Sequoia 15 has been downloaded and it's ready to be installed but I never tell it to install for me. See, it says update tonight or restart now if I click it, but because I had, res because I had already preset it as never install macOS updates automatically, this is just gonna sit here waiting for me. It'll probably keep updating to like 15.4, 15.5, etc. If you got value from this video, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I only ever do Apple related content. And we just reached 2 million views on the channel. Yay! So see you in the next video. Peace.